What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to the 2014 monster film, as well as the third film in Warner Brothers Monsterverse, and that is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Directed by Michael Doherty and starring a huge cast. You got Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things, you got Vera Farmiga, Kyle Chandler, uh, Ken Watanabe, Sally Hawkins, Charles Dance. This review is going to be spoiler free, 100% spoiler free, because Godzilla King of the Monsters, it's a really big monster movie, and I know a lot of you haven't seen it yet, so if you haven't seen the movie, do not worry guys, this is going to be spoiler free. You are safe here. This movie is the sequel to 2014's Godzilla, directed by Gareth Edwards, and this film takes place five years after the events from the first one. At the end of the first Godzilla in San Francisco, Godzilla destroyed the whole city. And so five years later, the group called Monarch is trying to hunt down these different monsters and they call them the Titans. We got Godzilla himself. We also get introduced to Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. These different humans have to try to find Godzilla and hopefully stop these monsters and bring peace to the world. This was a highly anticipated film for a bunch of people. When that Comic-Con trailer released a few months ago, everybody was super excited to see the film. And for me, myself, I was not fully excited for this film. And that's mainly because I was not a huge fan of 2014's Godzilla. I just did a review of that on my channel, so definitely go check that out. It just focused on the humans and it had barely any Godzilla in it. And so... I had those concerns going into King of the Monsters. What were my thoughts overall walking out of this film? I can say everything I just said, there is so much more Godzilla. Thank goodness for that, because that was definitely what I enjoyed the most about Godzilla King of the Monsters. It is jam-packed full of Godzilla and monster beatdowns. Feels like a WWE match between these monsters and that was so satisfying but still it has the same issues as the first one where it's jam-packed full of born human characters the best parts about this film are definitely godzilla fighting against those monsters the Ghidorah, rodan and mothra seeing all of these beautiful monsters on the screen. Michael Doherty's direction is really good of introducing the monsters, especially I love the introduction to Mothra. Just like in the trailer when the wings are wide open, it's just so gorgeous to watch. I really hope this film does get a Best Visual Effects nominations at the Oscars. It's competing against Avengers Endgame, that's for sure, because I think the visual effects are flawless in this film. The sound effects were terrific, especially during the fight scenes, as well as the action scene showdown and the monster reveals. All the sound effects are great, and the IMAX experience is where it is at. Because I was hesitating at first, should I see this in IMAX or waste my money, I don't know. But this is totally worth seeing on the biggest screen possible. Now, as much as I love the action sequences, seeing Godzilla beat those monsters to death, there are a lot of issues with this movie, and it's not great. The human characters, the human characters, ugh, the human characters are still boring. In 2014's Godzilla, all the humans, they focus on them mostly. But here, there's more Godzilla, but still, they still have boring, uninteresting human characters that they add in here. Vera Farmiga's character, I think, is the most boring out of all of them. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of her character, but her character makes the stupidest decisions out of all of them. It totally wastes terrific, talented cast members. And out of all of them, I would say Millie Bobby Brown gives the best performance out of all of them. I've not seen Stranger Things, but I know she plays Eleven, and Millie Bobby Brown gives a really good acted performance, but her character could have been fleshed out a lot more. Her character wasn't interesting. Kyle Chandler had some moments, but two, his character's trying too hard. It also brings back Ken Watanabe's character and Sally Hawkins, as well as the military guy from the first Godzilla. They just do not do anything with the humans at all. Like, the dialogue in this movie 
is atrocious. Some of the dialogue here is so cheesy and over the top where they definitely extend the line in the trailer, all hail the king or something like that. Well, I was just constantly throughout the two hour and 12 minute runtime for this movie, just rolling my eyeballs thinking, where's Godzilla? I want him to go like that, 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 and just do the iconic roar. Also, the ending was very confusing. Like it sets up, of course, for the next sequels and all that. And just the ending was just like, okay, that happened. In the end, guys, Godzilla 2, King of the Monsters. While I really love the action sequences way better than the first one, it definitely delivers on more Godzilla for sure, but it is still bogged down by dull human characters that are adding in these personal stories that I do not care about. There is an end credit scene for this movie, and definitely stay for the end credit scene, but all in all, I wanted this film to be so good, but it's just below average. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Godzilla King of the Monsters a two and a half out of five stars. It is slightly more entertaining for sure. There you have it guys. That was my thoughts on Godzilla King of the Monsters. What did you guys think of Godzilla King of the Monsters? Did you love it? Think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now that I've seen Godzilla King of the Monsters, look forward to my ranking of all three Warner Brothers MonsterVerse movies ranked from worst to best. That's including Godzilla 2014. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All of my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.